Ilmeisestikin ne on niin kuin kaikista pätevimpiä tää A-team, mikä on siellä aina bridgeillä kököttää. Et sen takia ne myöskin no, saattaa mennä johonkin mu muihinkin paikkoihin. Sulattelu ei kyllä tunnu ihan niinku ihan hyvältä idealta aina joka paikassa. Eri planeetoilla ja planeetoidella voi olla pillisti erilaisia sääilmiöitä. the answer is staring you right in the face thank you definitely easier this way I see a hot way that day okay belly the toast up toast on it on or the portal in bad album is a star that's about to attain us to sit See what we can find, and stay on high alert. We don't know where the Takan that beamed down here could be. You will need my help, Commander. How so? Traversal here is trivial for a Takan, but only a Takan. When you come across a device you cannot use, we will call my name. Will do. Thank you. Resembles the transporter device Petty Officer Maris used to escape the Resolute. Portal 6-3? You wish to make use of this device? It's a transporter of some kind? 
It allows Tikon to move through space instantly a short distance. Very convenient. I will activate the system for you. Where does it go? I'm not sure. The markings here must be from after my time. Well, only one way to find out. Oh, no, this is soil from the home. Ah, of our capital system. This isn't an arsenal, it's a temple of the ancients, sacred ground to the Takon. I took my oath as a guardian of the empire in a place just like this. First, I've seen of anything new from the Takon Empire in a very long time. I'm sure you're familiar with the feeling, that sense of loss. I thought I was ready for it, but it cuts to the core of your being. I'm so sorry to put you through this. I know it must be difficult. Don't apologize. I'm glad I came. This means a great to me. Can you use this to find out more about what Galvin is after? The information's encrypted. I can only discern that it's a warship. Uh -huh. No. We know that it's not alive. It's the Aphelion. Perhaps the most powerful Tacodian ship ever built. I can't access the full file, but looking through the ship's schematics, it appears to be equipped with some sort of experimental, highly advanced transporter technology. Transporter technology? For what? Captain, you better come see this. Niin olisikohan se sama kuin Picardissa oli trans te transporteri. Ai, 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 ai. Decent. Okei. Okay. Lähetään tänne päin. There are more up ahead. From the looks of it, I'd say someone left in a hurry. Probably right around the time we showed up.
I've seen these before. In the other vault. And if all of those are the same as this, then there must be... Hundreds of millions. If not billions. All that remains of the okay, decolonization. Tallentanut tietosuhteensa tulevaisuutta varten. Encapsulated in crystalline form. Preserved for all eternity. I doubt Galvin would willingly leave these behind. So odds are he'll be back. Unless this is why he sent Sidron here. What you have to understand is these life forms were preserved for the benefit of the Takan civilization. As a means of safeguarding the health and well-being of any Takan, should they fall prey to illness or injury, they were never intended to be used for this purpose. There you are wrong. This was always their purpose. To restore the glory that was lost. Congratulations on your first victory in battle, Captain Rydek. You killed a great many of my compatriots, some that I've known for millennia. Are you proud of how much death you've caused? Each Takan life is precious, irreplaceable. Centuries of knowledge and culture lost with each one you murder. I was protecting my crew. It's regrettable to take any life. But when someone threatens galactic civilization, force is the correct response. And I suppose it worked. For now. Thankfully, I don't have to convince you of anything. We'll all be on the same side soon enough. You can't just bioform whoever you want. Not without a fight. Ah, but that's just it. There won't be a fight. In fact, most won't even know what's happened. One minute you're standing there as you. The next, you're standing here as one of us. He's talking about mass transformation. Ah. That's what the Aphelion was built for. Transporter. It'll reconstitute your DNA and bioform you into a Takan in the blink of an eye. This is what they'll use as ammunition. Uh, me. Nää käytti samaa ideaa Picardissa. Yes. Your time has passed. The Takan Empire is gone. Only to be reborn better and stronger than it ever was. The Aphelion is on its way here as we speak. Now it's only a matter of time. You can't delay that which is inevitable. Which makes your next decision fairly simple, brother. You are, after all, a portal. I am. But then does Batman come beat the mid and Your sole purpose is to serve as a guardian of the Takan Empire. But you stand here surrounded not by your fellow Takan. By members of the Federation. By people who deny our fundamental right to exist. You swore an oath to protect the Empire. And I can only assume that's why you're here. There is only one true Takan here, and that's Portal. You're a scion, a disgrace to the memory of the Takan, brought back through unnatural means. I only tolerate so long as you continue to amuse me. Which side are you on? Captain Rydak, long-range sensors suggest a massive spacecraft approaching in the distance. The time has come. I hope we speak again, brother. Estimated time to contact, six minutes and counting. We can't stay here. 
We have to get back to the ship. And we have to preserve these souls. We must take them back to your ship. Those crystals are ammunition to be used against us. We have to destroy them. Bombard the site from orbit. I'll decide once we're safely aboard the Resolute. Board a transport. You have to hear me out, Captain. I've always stood by you. But if you bring those things on board, I'll have no choice but ah, to resign. Ah, that's a lot If they're taken to the Iridium, they will be forced into new bodies, brought back to life in a way they never asked for. They're not living beings, but they're still dangerous. And if you don't make decisions to protect us, we're going to end up like Solano. Hmm. You, me, the entire crew. We're all next. Niin, kun niitä voidaan käyttää niin hyvin, että ihmisiä vastaan. Destroy the vault. I, Captain. Firing photon torpedoes. been destroyed. is targeting us approaching rapidly they hit us with that bioforming ray and it's over maximum warp get us out of here where captain anywhere but here now Siellä tarpeeksi happea ollut noille. Valitettavasti ne on sen yhden tyypin jättämään jälkeen.
You did what had to be done with the Tasker. I know you held out hope, but it's what she would have wanted. The Tasker can rest now. Even if I wavered in the moment, there's no way she saved herself from that ship. If you believe, I'm sure you'll see her again. I do. And I shall. Surprises here, but your shoulders separated. If you come with me to sick bay, we can get you fixed up in no time. Uh, thank you. I'll find you afterwards. Like this, Kanata. You two, check in at your stations. This thing isn't over yet. She was a good little escape pod. I don't want another ride like that anytime soon. You're really making us proud out there, Diaz. The lower decks don't get a lot of glory. <laughs> well, I'm just getting started. Yo, tämä tämä on ihan totta. Siis lower decks ihan on itse asiassa sijoittuu just tähän sama samoi vuot vuosi. Diaz. Yeah. Tevä sarja siis. People over there, Miranda. Kapoor, Hauser. We saw Miranda and Kapoor, but their bioform. And as far as I know, there's no way to undo it. That means they're not our friends anymore. If they attack us, we'll have to stop them. No matter what it takes. Yeah. I, I guess we have to be ready for that. I can't believe it, but I'm actually looking forward to seeing Chobok. Not that I'd expect this kind of welcome from him. But I can just imagine the look on his face. Oh, come on, he's got to give us some credit for all we've done. We'll see. Then again, if he doesn't, that's just Chobok being Chobok. Believe it. You evaded the Takan, ejected their warp cores, and lived to talk about it. That about sums it up. They're going to be teaching this at the academy for yeah. years to come. I mean it. Everybody's going to learn how you pulled it off. At the academy? Oh, I, I wouldn't know about that. After this, you'll probably get a personal invitation to show them how it's done. I heard about Bell. Is. As far as we know, she's still out there. Well, I know Captain Rydek will do her best to get her back. Hold on. Rydek? What about Captain Solano? He was turned into a Takan. Rydek had to take over. Oh. She's a hell of an officer. But none of us have been up against anything like this. No one has. Not in half a million years. Solano wasn't perfect. He was a good man. I'm sorry that happened to him. Yeah. We all are. But we'll rally around Captain Rydek. Oh, it's a cool stuff, Bella. Talk to you later. It is agreeable to see you. Agreeable. <laughs> is that so? It was by no means a certainty that you would return to duty here. No, it was not. But it was my sincere hope you would. It's great to be seen, boss. There were a few moments out there off the ship where I wasn't really sure we'd be making it back either. Everything here in engineering is kind of a sight for sore eyes. Indeed. You should know your absence has left engineering terribly shorthanded. During your sojourn, this department has fallen unacceptably behind schedule <laughs> on both regular and irregular duties. Seems like you could use some help around here. We're ready to go to work. I'd like to catch my breath for at least a few minutes, Carter. <laughs> yeah. Normally, I would assign you to one of the many pressing repair tasks. Down, I'll send you to my dad. I'll send you to my dad. But given your experience on board the Zelda, 
I have suggested you join the senior staff briefing as we determine our next course of action. You can commence your maintenance shift afterwards. <laughs> Don't even put it in the Crosstalk. When I heard you destroy the Takan vault, I was surprised. By my order? By myself. Surprised that I was glad to hear it. Hmm. The Hotari do not wage war or kill our enemies if we can avoid it. But hearing that the Takan, who have decimated my people, took such a loss. Is it wrong that it feels like justice? We've lost so much to the Takan. We sometimes have to take lives in the line of duty. But we can never take it. Mm. Uh, it's coming along nicely. Thank you, Tylus. I'll take it from here. We're almost done. I have to brief Ambassador Spock in a few minutes. Ambassador Spock can wait. You have some fences to mend. I know you had your reasons for destroying the Taconian crystals, and I won't question them. Hopefully this galvanizes the bridge crew behind your leadership. But I expect there will be fallout with Portal. Assuming he's still with us, I sincerely doubt he's indifferent to what happened. We can always agree to disagree, but as captain, once I've made a decision, I need you to support it. Absolutely. I may not agree, but I'll stand by you and carry out your orders. And if I don't like it, it's been a chaotic last few days for everyone. You need to name a new first officer in preparation for what's coming. It basically comes down to Westbrook, Ermot, or Bedrothian. Obviously, there are pros and cons with each. But ultimately, the decision is yours. Commander Westbrook has seniority and was hoping to be Captain Solano's first officer. Lieutenant Pedrosian has always been devoted to you. At the moment, I am leaning toward selecting Commander so Westbrook the as the new first officer. That would be an excellent choice, considering your history. The crew would respect the fact you chose someone likely to challenge your opinions and present a different point of view. You're as good as new. Thank you, Dr. Duvall. Always nice to have a captive audience. Wait, is it Westbrook ei ole sillain niinku kuitenkaan hirveästi vastustanut tätä, vaan se on ollut niinku järkevä, kun sillä on antanut järkisyyt. Thank you, Mr. Armand. Petty officers Diaz and Edsalar have first-hand experience with our adversaries. I thought it advantageous for them to join this briefing. I understand this is unusual, but I trust you have no objections. Talk about moving up in the world. Excellent idea, Mr. Chovak. They deserve to be here. In all seriousness, what Diaz and Edsalar accomplished aboard the Zeldi is nothing short of remarkable. They're both to be commended, not only for surviving against incredible odds, but for helping our efforts against these sirens. You know, Carter deserves most of the credit. None of us would have made it without his help. We'd all be bioformed by this point. Well, I could say the same thing about Edsalar here. She deserves as much of the credit as I do. It's like a mutual admiration society. <laughs> Ambassador Spock is ready for you. Put him through. Captain Rydick, your recent change in station certainly warrants mention, and I trust you to faithfully execute your expanded duties. Right now, we must keep our attention on the clear and present danger that lies ahead. The Takan and their warship. The closest populations are the Hotari and Elidian systems, and they are likely the first targets for mass bioforming. After that lies Federation space. I have advised Starfleet Command to send an impromptu battle group to intercept and assist you, but that will take time. You are our first line of defense. And with our shield algorithms compromised, we are at a great disadvantage. We can take them on ourselves. We've already had some success against the Takan. We destroyed one of their modified Elidian ships, the Zeldi, in combat. But 
was not a true Takan warship, was it? No. Remember, <laughs> our strength is drawn from our ability to work together towards a common goal. Have we made any progress in finding a way to defend ourselves from the Aphelion's bioforming weapon? Currently, our shields will not protect us, but I am compiling all of the information the away team gathered on the Zeldi and cross-referencing it against our own, as well as Portal 6-3's methods. The away team is sitting right here. They survived without getting bioformed, so we know it's possible. So, what's the secret? How do we defend ourselves? <laughs> oh, I like on the do, but is there a weakness we can exploit? Something we can do to avoid getting bioformed. Well, simple as it sounds, the best thing to do is to not get caught. Not get Whether it's one-on-one -on -one or the whole ship. We avoided the Takan as much as we could. But we saw the bioforming, and there's not much you can do. I found something that might help. It's too soon to say for sure, but we've had some promising indications that Deridium can delay the bioforming process. Deridium? It's not a cure. It's not going to bring anyone back we've already lost. But Deridium is a cell stabilizer, so it has the potential to slow down the onset of physical and mental changes, if not entirely prevent them. And might be the only ship in the fleet with this much Deridium on hand. In fact, a lot of ships wouldn't have any. Doctor, you just gave me an infusion and didn't think to mention it? I am the chief medical officer. Sir, and it was my determination that we need our captain. Now more than ever. You should have told me. That's beside the point. The amount needed to slow bioforming dwarfs the amount needed for your treatment. We don't have enough deridium on board to protect the whole crew. We barely have enough to protect everyone in this room. Sounds like it won't do us much good then. The use case I'd suggest is that buy a little time for an officer or a small group to complete a task or mission. But it has to be taken at the moment of exposure to the bioforming mechanism. Prepare a delivery method for this remedy. Yeah. That raises the question. What is the mission? Soluttautuminen. The Zeldi's shields were stronger than anticipated. If the Aphelion has even more effective protection, We'll have difficulty breaking through. We may not be able to block the Aphelion's attack either. But if they do strike, we know their weapon uses transporter technology. We might be able to backtrack their signal path. Like we did to evacuate Captain Rydek from Tau. Exactly. We could send an away team onto the Aphelion. And destroy it from the inside. Modify photon torpedoes to use as explosives. I think Portal could still help us. If he can't get a first-hand look at the Aphelion, he might be able to identify a weakness. I don't know how quick he'll be to help us after... He'll help. I'll have security personnel prep a boarding party, should the opportunity arise. Petty Officers Edsilar and Diaz are the logical choices to lead any away mission to the Aphelion. Yeah. They have already crippled one enemy ship. If anyone can do so again, so hyvä, että luotetaan. This isn't a rescue. It's a tactical incursion. Do you really have some special insights as Commander Chovak suggests? Doesn't the fact that we're here speak for itself? Sabotage is kind of becoming our specialty. We'll find a way to get the job done. Well, he certainly has the swagger for it. If this is the necessary course of action, I support it. With the help of Portal, he should be part of the away team. I will compile all the latest data on the tricorders, just in case. In the meantime, I want you working on ways we can combat the Takan tech. Shields, weapons, anything we can use. Yes, Captain. Anything else, Ambassador? I know this matter is in capable hands. Hold the line as best you can. Help is on the way. Thank you. I have faith in all of you to meet this moment with the urgency it requires. I expect all of us to give it everything we've got. Yhteistyö. 
Se on tähti laivaston niinku While we have a quorum of senior staff, there is a procedural element we need to take care of. The resolute command codes must be transferred to Captain Ryback. For control of the ship. Of course. Computer, transfer all command codes to Captain Jaro Ryback. Voice authorization Irma, Echo 4 Lima. Voice authorization Duval, Beta 2 Yankee. Voice authorization Westbrook, Alpha 7 Tango. Awaiting your authorization, Captain. Voice authorization, Rydek. Charlie. Five. X-ray. Captain's codes transferred. The updated command structure is incomplete. Please designate a new first officer. As it the other one is the first officer. Please designate a new first officer. That I'm not gonna say it again. It is an honor and a pleasure to name Commander Westbrook as my new first officer. Thank you, Captain. That you made yeah. the right choice. Congratulations, Commander. It's long overdue. I know we've had our differences, but I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Computer, Commander Westbrook is the new first officer of the USS Resolute. Awaiting voice authorization. Voice authorization Westbrook. Alpha 7 Tango. Authorization is now complete. Now if you'll excuse me, there's work to be done. Nicely done. I think that went well. Captain, could I have a word with you? Give me a minute. Look, I respect your decision, Captain. Commander Westbrook has seniority, and I can understand why you might have felt pressure to promote him. But what I can't understand is why you would choose someone so clearly unsuited for the position. It's the very reason why Captain Solano chose you over him. Because he knew Westbrook, his first officer, would be disastrous. I know you're disappointed, but I trust his experience. I need to rely on him now more than ever. That's just it. We can't afford to make any mistakes. That's my concern with Commander Westbrook. Maybe I've had it wrong this whole time. But I thought we've had an excellent working relationship almost from the moment you first arrived. Yes, I was insulted when you didn't trust me with the information about Captain Solano being compromised, but I've always supported you. Which is certainly more than you can say about Westbrook. He was always against you, especially with regard to Captain Solano. I guess loyalty counts for nothing with you. Listen, I value your opinion more than just about anyone's. I rely on it. And if we're going to beat Galvin, I'll need your help now more than ever. So please, don't be discouraged. I'll be fine. Just give me ah, some time. Ah, it was only one bet, didn't it? 